praise the lord today we are going to see what does the bridle represent most of the the horses are uh, controlled by the small instrument called bridle so bible clearly says um, that, that uh, uh, both in old testament and new testament it represents so many things especially the control of a particular person so for that let us take um, what does the bridle represent what that let us take um, uh, proverb 26 a whip for a horse um, a bridle for a donkey for a back of a fool so if a fool if a foolish is not changing god use him um, a rod for the uh, fool to control uh, the fool the same way the horse is controlled by the whip and the donkey is controlled by the bridle what is the bite and bridle represent a bridle is a gear that fits over an animal's head attached to the bridle is a bite a metal mouthpiece that allow one to control the animal the term bridle and bite are used metaphorically in both testaments demonstrating some manner of control so the the, the bridle uh, is figuratively used for god's control for self control and for imposed control first of all for god's control when a person is out of god control and then god will send this judgment the judgment is like a placing um, a bit in the jaws of the people that they make the that make them astray so so we should be under the god's control otherwise um, we will go astray the second one it represents control james chapter 3 clearly says um, to represent the self control he is using the three small parts um, one is a tongue next is a bridle third one is um, nothing but um, the, the small uh, the, the small thing which controls the ship um, when we uh, put bite in the mouth of house to make them obey us we can turn the whole animal they are take the ship as an example although they are so large and are driven by a strong wind they are stirred by a small rubber rudder uh, whatever the pilot want to go likewise the tank is a small part of the body but it always uh, make great boast uh, consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark uh, so the tank also is a fire a world of evil among the part of the body um, it to corrupt the whole body it sets the whole course of uh, one's life on fire and it itself set on fire by hell so those who consider themselves really religious they yeah, do not keep a uh, tight rein on their tongues <laughs> deceive themselves and their uh, righteous religious is uh, worthless um, so it is very clear um, that uh, the, the writer of james is uh, uh, taking example of a uh, very small parts um, for example the bite for animal a rubber rudder for a ship uh, and a uh, and a tongue for a uh, human being so if you are not going to control the tongue and allow the tongue to be controlled by the evil forces of the hell then with the soul will become a double minded with the same uh, tongue will start to uh, praise god and with the same tongue will start to curse people who are made in the god's likeliness um, so we should be careful to put riddle in our mouth to put bridle in our mouth um, if we put bridle in our mouth we never we don't speak more uh, we don't concede hatred and uh, spread the gossip about the people we always speak right uh, right things um, and whatever we speak it going to be benefit others um, first of all when we put riddle, bridle we don't speak more more um, unnecessary things um, because probably unavoidable when there is much talk but whoever seals his lip is wise and at the same time we never concede hatred and spread the gossip proverb 10 also clearly says whoever conceal hatred and has lying lips whoever spread the slander is a slander is a fool and so the the love country covers him more a sin but you should should not cover your hatred instead of that you are forgive that hatred and not spread the gossip about the people the third thing you put the uh, bridle you speak right things proverb 10 says the tongue of righteous person silver the hearts of the wicked people are worthless um, so as pure silver is um, if compared to the wisdom it is more valuable than ordinary silver and to be lacking in heart is to lack judgment and character so wisdom is found on the lips of a person who has understanding but a rod is for the back of one who without sense um, so we have to speak when we put the bridle we started to speak uh, correctly and wisdom come out of the mouth um, and not only that uh, we speak uh, in such a way to go and benefit the uh, right is person feels me but stubborn fools do because they have no sense um, the right speaking and speaking beneficial to other is going to be helpful to the other if you're going to speak unwanted things um, like a fool not only it will not benefit others but also it leads to um, ruin you so you should be very careful about it um, so third one the bridle represent um, uh, the control the the the, um, uh, the, the bridle the, the bridle represents um, nothing but um, 
the imposed control. That's what Psalm 32, 8 and 9 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but be controlled by bid and brittle or they will not come to you because um, we have to be very clear but we are very careful because um, some animal must be brittle, brittle to be useful god gives a godly freedom on the highway of godliness um, so the people draw near to him out of a personal desire of holiness uh, those who do not draw near are like animals they have to be held in check uh, so so instead of using um they 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 have their tongue for a wrong thing we have to use it for spiritual fruitfulness hebrews 13 says uh, through jesus Says, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profane his name. I'll pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help us to control our mouth and be self-controlled person. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.